Maybe you should pull the fucking trigger. Pull the trigger. Ain't nobody gonna do for you. Most people know that metal coins won't float in water, but for this experiment, I'm gonna show you a cool little trick that'll make them look like they do. For this demonstration, you're gonna need a bowl of water and a handful of one yen coins. One yen coins are kinda like Japanese pennies, and there's a good chance you can get some if you're really, really nice to your neighborhood Japanese exchange students. These common coins are around two and a half times lighter than our pennies because they're minted from aluminum instead of zinc, but that doesn't mean they can float. In fact, if you try tossing a few into a bowl of water, you'll see they instantly sink to the bottom without hesitation. But to change all that, you just need one small paper clip. Simply unfold the clip by bending the inner part back until it makes an L shape, then balance one of the coins on the larger end, and use the other side as a handle to slowly dip the coin into the water. Now pull the clip back out of the water, and amazingly, the coin will be left floating on top, almost like magic. It's kind of like the coin nestles itself into some kind of invisible force field, warping the surface of the water and denting it down. And what's really amazing is you can float as many coins as you want at the same time, as long as they'll fit in the bowl. But how does this work? The answer is surface tension. The attraction between the water molecules at the surface is just strong enough to support the weight of an aluminum coin without letting it break through. It's kind of like a thin elastic layer that covers the top. And it's a very delicate balance, so as you might imagine, adding just a touch more pressure will break the layer for a second and let the coins drop back to the bottom again. Now let's explore this phenomenon a little further, and watch what happens if we sprinkle pepper flakes on the water first. This time, as the weight of the coin warps the water, you can see the closest flakes immediately begin attracting toward it, then stick to the sides. The mass of the coin creates enough of a disturbance that any flakes within range eventually get sucked toward it until they collide and become a part of the system, which is the way some people say gravity works. That could be the case, because if you try placing a few coins in close proximity, the two masses immediately gravitate toward each other until they impact and snap together like magnets. Now if you really want to try this trick but can't find any aluminum coins, don't worry. You can still use things like paper clips, pins, needles, and even staples. They'll all work just as well, even though they're made of steel and nearly three times heavier than aluminum. Use the same paper clip trick from before to quickly and easily set your metal bits floating on their own. And if you're careful and have a large enough dish, you might even be able to get the entire box of paper clips floating at once. Now the idea of floating paper clips isn't new, and some of your friends might think they're smart because they already know how it works. So if you want to mess with their heads a bit, just pour in a few drops of dish soap when they're not looking. Soap breaks up the surface tension of the water and weakens the hydrogen bonds, which means your victim won't be able to get a single paper clip to float no matter how many times they try or how slowly and carefully the paper clips are set into place. Well now you know a cool little trick you can try at home, at school, or the office to impress your friends and coworkers by making random bits of metal float on water. That's it for now. If you like this experiment, perhaps you like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com.